Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Stuff You Don't Know, But You Probably Should. My name's David Dravenek, and tonight we're going to be talking about glass cleaner and why you never have to use it again. And also, <laughs> there will probably be a poop joke. Because, I mean, I want this video to be popular, so that means I got to cater to the lowest common denominator, so actually, definitely, there will be a poop joke. Stay tuned. Dumb people, there will be a poop joke. <laughs> okay, but mainly I'm here tonight to tell you I have a method to clean glass and mirrors for free. Okay, because for the last hundred years, when you have wanted to clean some glass or some mirrors, a hundred percent of the time you grab the roll of paper towels, you grab a, some sort of plastic bottle with blue stuff in it, and off you go to, ta to tackle the task. That was a tongue twister. But 100% of the time, you end up with a scenario that looks like this. You know, until basically you're fatigued. Because no matter how many times you try or how long you spend at it, the best you can ever really get it to look is, meh. Nah. It's a lot like uh, that time <clears throat> that I bought a carpet cleaning machine and I made a little promise with myself, like, I'm just going to keep doing this carpet over and over again until eventually that dirty water reservoir is crystal clean. <laughs> That's an impossible task. It can never happen. It's a lot like trying to get a spaceship to travel the speed of light. Because <laughs> we all know that uh, the faster the spaceship goes, the heavier it becomes, which requires more energy to get it to go faster, which only makes it heavier, which requires more energy, and on and on and on, and then you can never get a spaceship to go this, the speed of light. It's impossible. Wow. That was an analogy within an analogy. Just call me Leonardo DiCaprio because I just did an analogy inception. Anyway, my point is glass cleaner doesn't work that great. And maybe you upgrade, spend another $1.50 to get the streak-free stuff, which I guess technically it works, but really all it does is it takes the streaks and spreads it out over the entirety of the mirror so that you're doing your makeup in a fog. Which, I mean, maybe that's what you want. Maybe you want to keep your mirror at standard definition. Because if you do what I tell you to do, your mirror is going HD, baby, and you're going to have to deal with the reality of your face. So anyway, back to my method. I've come up with a way that you can do it. You can clean glass, mirrors, chrome, bathroom fixtures, kitchen fixtures. They're basically the same thing. Uh, flawlessly, streak-free, and the best part is it's free. Okay, the best part is that it's free. If you do what I say, I will save you millions of dollars. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty big promise. Uh, I will save you hundreds of dollars, unless you have OCD, and then maybe I will save you millions. I don't know. But so, before we get into it, let's just look. What is in glass cleaner that we've all been duped into thinking we need it? Let's see here. What are, what are the ingredients? Uh, number one, water. Number two, two hexo hexa etha etha no. Uh, they went with number two because number one kept exploding on them. Uh, let's see, uh, isopropanala mala mean. Uh, <laughs> so, sodium dota cytal cyta benzyl sulf sulfonite. Uh, Loramine oxide. Uh, ammonium hydroxide, uh, fragrance, there's a word I can say, because for a while there, I was really doubting whether or not I was intelligent at all. And liquid knit sky blue dye. Anyway, if you notice, what was the very first and always the most abundant ingredient? Water. And that's where our train is going to stop. I am going to save you from having to pay $7.99 just to get two hexaoxyethanol and isopropamanama laminaline. <laughs> anyway, you get my point. Uh, you don't need it. So what are you going to need? All you're going to need are two washcloths and good old-fashioned water. And the good old-fashioned kind. 
don't go using any of this new fangled water that all the millennials are using, you know, with the extra oxygen molecule attached to it. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> so, so definitely do not use that. Unless you got a big gash on your chest. Which, how did you get that? But then go ahead and feel free to use the new fangled water. But for my system, let's just stick with good old fashioned water. And the second thing you're gonna need are two washcloths or towels or anything, but one, you're gonna get wet, and then you need another one, and this is key, that is gonna be clean and dry. You don't need to bother with microfibers or sham wiles or anything, just a regular good old fashioned washcloth will work. Basically the rule here is you want something that's not gonna leave particles of itself on the mirror or the glass. Uh, it'd be best if you got a, a towel from the military you know, no fabric left behind. <laughs> okay? So, and right now there's an internet troll like, uh, you said that the, um, that this was free. Well, obviously the washcloths are not free. Well, I've got nothing better to do than internet troll all day. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, technically the washcloths cost money. But if you don't have two washcloths in your household, then you have a bigger problem than having dirty mirrors because you live in a crack house probably <laughs> and all your mirrors are cracked. Um, and I'm also assuming that most of us have washcloths for that rare occasion when your alarm doesn't go off and you've got four minutes to get ready for work and you've got no choice but to take a whore's bath. We've all been there. We've all been there. So let's take our good old fashioned water and our whore's bath towels, and let me show you how this works. Okay, so in order to show you how my system works, we're gonna go ahead and use this piece of uh, mirror here. All right, right now I got a light shining into it, which is kind of annoying, but I'm trying to show you just how dirty it is. I tried a lot of things. Turns out filming mirrors is very difficult to show. So this is what I came up with. So, all right, so that shows that, and later I'll use the light again to show how great my system works, but right now we don't need it. Now, I could clean this using my super system with, you know, the, the minimal dirt that it has on it. But let's, let's really do this up because I want to prove just how great it is. Let's get some, some uh, handprints on there, a little toothpaste because, you know, people always brushing their teeth. It splashes on there. Let's just get a little of that right there. Okay. Do that, all right. So right now you're looking at it and you're going, that's a pretty big mess, Dave. This is why I need glass cleaner. Cause you know, it's got detergents in it and it's got uh, antibacterial stuff in it. Uh, it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. That's what the bottle says. Well, you know what else has detergent in it and kills germs? Soap. Soap which you can get at like 10,000th of the price. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna use right now, is just, just some soap. Okay, and while we're on the topic, all these products out there talking about how they kill 99.9% .9 of germs. What is going on with the other 0.1% of germs? So you're telling me that you spray down your countertop and after you're done, you're just left with a bunch of super germs? And then what, if you spray them down again, now you're just left with even stronger germs, like the Hall of Fame of germs. They're all sitting there with their little gold jackets on. Until eventually, the more and more you spray, you're left with just one germ who's like the equivalent of the Black Knight in Monty Python. Every time you spray them, a little piece of them falls off. He's like, tis nothing but a flesh wound. And then you spray him again. He's like, come on, you pansy. You could try all day, but killing me is mathematically impossible. It says so on your bottle. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and infect everything until forever. So, the real reason they do that is because we live in a litigious society. Okay? And they know if they put on their bottles, it kills all germs, then there'll be some nerd in Akron, Ohio, pulls out his chemistry set and his little microscope, and he's, he'll write a sternly worded letter, Dear Lysol, I 
did an experiment and it turns out that 0.1% of your germs were still alive. So I am suing you for $10 million in damages and also $17.99 because I dropped a couple of slides on the floor because I'm clumsy. So that's the reason they do it. But like I said, soap works just fine. And some people might say, well, you know, what works too is vinegar and water. <coughs> and yeah, yeah, that does work. If you want your house to perpetually smell like uh, Easter. Or you could just use you know, water. Okay. So now we get to the magical part of the mission. Right now I got pretty nasty mess here still. That's when we pull out the dry towel that I've been talking so much about. This is where the magic happens. All right, we go ahead and we hit this baby with a dry towel, right? And you just keep going till all the dirt is gone. And I know you're also saying like, Dave, this takes so much longer than it would just take if I just used, um, <laughs> if I just used glass cleaner. Yeah, I could have done this in like a third of the time, but I had bits to do, stuff to talk about 99.9% .9 of germs, come on. All right, so there. That's pretty much it. Let's bring the light back over. And you can see, uh-huh, uh-huh. No flaws, no streaks. This mirror is, to quote Sarah Silverman, when she's talking about her breasts after taking a shower with her boyfriend, sparkling. You're welcome. Okay, so you see, pretty simple. Simple, easy, and free. I believe that's a Janis Joplin song. In fact, it's so easy, it's so simple that most people are like, God, I can't believe I didn't think of that before. And I wouldn't doubt when this video goes viral, when it gets to like 79 or 80 views, <laughs> I wouldn't doubt if the stock of these uh, glass cleaning companies starts to plummet when people realize they don't need it anymore. In fact, I'm doing this video at a risk to my own life, because there's a good possibility that, like, uh, Windex might send a, an assassin to kill me. I'll come home one night, he'll be sitting there in the dark, his back facing me. I'll flip on the light, he'll swivel around. I'll wonder at that point why I bought a uh, Lazy Boy on a swivel. <laughs> and uh, that's when I'll ask him the dumb question that everyone always seems to ask in this scenario, which is, how did you get in here? But I mean, if he told you, if he went into a long soliloquy about how he bribed your doorman with basketball tickets, and yeah, you know, not courtside, but not nosebleeds either, like kind of in the middle. Anyway, he bribed him to let, you know, get, get into your apartment or condo or whatever. Um, would that make your situation, your current situation, any better? In fact, the question I should be asking him is, how long have you been sitting there in the dark? Has it been 20 minutes? Has it been eight hours? And what have you been doing? Have you been liking people's pictures on Facebook? Have you been playing Candy Crush? Did you watch TV? Careful not to watch anything on the Lifetime channel for fear that you might have to uh, reevaluate your decision to be a hitman. Because, I mean, let's face it, you're a hitman for a glass cleaner company. You're not even a cool hitman. You know, it's... That's the question I would be asking him before he turned my wall into a brain roar shack. <laughs> so that's my system. Use it, don't use it, just try it, just try it. It works on some pretty tough jobs. I mean, it worked the time that an owl flew into my window. Yeah, an owl. Turns out they're not so wise. It worked the time that my 15-year-old nephew spent the week here. It worked the time that my cat's dumplings and sprinkles decided to lay a steamer on my coffee table. Yeah, it worked for all those jobs. And yeah, I did take a picture of my cat's poop. I told you there'd be a poop joke. Plus, I thought it would be funny. Plus, I mean, what's the big deal? That's not really that disgusting. Sure, maybe it's got a little toxoplasmosis to it or something, but I mean, really, it's, I mean, it's dry at this point. I don't know. So. <laughs> And it's just a candy bar. There's your poop joke that I stole from Caddyshack. Like every time, 
I do this. I asked you to share this. In this particular case, though, I'm giving you something for free that is going to save you money. So, I mean, it's the least you could do is share this if you try it and you find that it works, which it will. The only way it won't work is if you don't try it. If you're like, fuck you, I'm going to pay $8 a bottle for glass cleaner and then another $8 for the most premium paper towels. If you do that, then fine, you're an idiot. <laughs> That's all I can say. But if you don't, and you try it and it works, just share it. Please, just share it. That's all I'm asking for. It's really not that hard. And with that, thank you, and good night. That was supposed to fall out of the